day. This is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining us. If you happen to hear noise, it's my chair. I don't know whether my chair is old or what's happening, but it's not going to intimidate me to stop me from speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. This is a new month. This is the month of July. Hallelujah. To my subscribers, thank you so much for being part of this channel. We are 700 and something. You know, starting from that one subscriber to the number that we are, I really appreciate you. If you're watching me for the first time and you are in this month of July, I just want to tell you that God just he just does not give us the month for the sake of giving us the month amen there is a reason why he has given us 12 months in a year amen and in each and every month God wants us to seek his face hallelujah he said why because January we were fasting for the whole year but for me prayer is a daily thing hallelujah Prayer is a daily thing. We cannot run away from it. But there is the special type of prayer that we make for a month. I just want to quickly share my testimony. I remember last year in January. Even though this is not January, it's July. I came back from home. I still remember, I still remember that year. Hallelujah. When I came back from home, I began to pray for the month. Why was I praying? I want to tell you something. You are watching me. We are not in the same season. Hallelujah. Everybody's dealing with something different. You know what you are dealing with. With me, when I came back that month, my children were in a private school. I've got three girls. Amen. But the two girls, the other one was in primary. The other one was in high school. But same uh, uh, same yard, you know, those schools when they've got primary and also have high school, amen. They were going to the same school, but not doing the same grade. So when they came, when we came back that January, I realized that God, I don't have money for school fees for these children. I don't have money for books, amen. But what did I do? I prayed for the month of January. I begin to pray and tell the Lord that, Lord, my son, I was working, could be asking me, prophetess, don't you have a job? Oh, yes, obviously, I'm employed by God, governed by Jesus, supervised by the Holy Ghost, but I also physically work for the city of Tuan. My husband working as well, but it was just too much. Hallelujah. <laughs> Have you ever combined your salary with your husband and the mess is not meeting? It was that type of situation. So we came back from home. When we came back from home, I told my husband, you know what? In this situation which we find ourselves to be in, we need to call God. Hallelujah. We need to pray for this month to be a different month. You know, we we we, we took, you know, when they say that the 24 elders, they took off their crown. We, we took off our salary from where they were paying us. We said that, God, my salary is not enough. To cut the long story short, I didn't have money for school fees. Then I begin to pray for January. I begin to pray for January. I'm telling you, I never went to any bank to take a loan. You know, God just provided. He made provision for the money for the kids to be able to pay for their school fees. Amen. I have shared on another video on how God did that. But what am I trying to show you? I did not run to my relatives. I did not run to anybody else. I came into the presence of God and began to speak to God. And God was able to answer my prayer. Number two, we happened to plan to go on vacation. You know, when I was busy praying, I was like, Lord, we really want to go you know, to Deben with my husband, you know, we're planning, we're preparing, we put the money aside, but something happened. There is a 10 days, child of God, when you put money aside, there will be something that will come and chow the very same money that you have planned to put aside for a vacation. So it was the same situation when we we're still sleeping. I still remember they called us to say that my mother-in-law's house got banned in Lipombo. Five hours drive. We're planning to drive to Deben, but we changed plans. We drove home. Amen. The same amount that we're putting together for the trip. We took it. We went home. Then we come back, child of God. When we come back, I begin to pray for that month. I'm like, my husband says to me, I want us to cancel the trip. Why? Because the money is not enough. I was like, okay, if we cancel the trip, it's okay. I don't have a problem. But I don't want to cancel. He says, where are you going to get the money to go to Debe? Where are you going to get the money to book the, 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 the hotel? Because you have seen with your own eyes, you know, when you are reasoning together with your husband, with your spouse, you know, me being the submissive wife, listening to him talking and talking, giving me facts of our financial situation. Then I listened to him when he was finished. I was like, has God ever let you down? I was speaking to my husband. I was like, has God ever let you down? I was like, no. So I said, let's go and call God. 
Let's go and ask the God who is sitting on the throne. The Bible says that Jesus rose on the third day. Jesus is alive. <laughs> what is he doing? It's not just sitting there at the right hand side of the father it's a figure of speech you know say so when they say this is your right hand man you know he's not just sitting watching us doing nothing the bible says he's interceding he is even praying on our behalf i'm like if jesus is busy praying i'm also gonna ask he said ask anything in my name it shall be given unto you i tell that man of god i'm like you go to your own corner and pray i'm also going to pray for this month oh god this month this week we want to go to Deben. To cut the long story short, I went to pray. And then somebody, you know, there are people who have a tendency of borrowing your man and not return your man. Then you get mad and then you forget about it. Somehow that person just remembered. Hey, guys, guys, I, you know, now I have money, man. I want to send it to you. He doesn't know that we are waiting for the very same amount that he has borrowed from us. You know, so he gave back the money to us. We went to Deben. We slept in the best hotel. We had the great time of our lives. And when I was doing this thing, you know, I even called my mother. And my husband said, why did you call your mother? I'm like, you want, you want me to be embarrassed in front of your mother? I'm like, I have prayed. Now it's time for action. So I'm calling my mother to come and stay with the kids while we're in Deben for this month. Where is the man? I'm like, God is going to send the money. Then I called my mother. My mother came. I had not sent Bazolan. This is a true story. I had no man, but I had faith. I had faith. I had faith. So one, oh, the only thing that you need is faith. Believe in what you're going to ask God for. For me, I'm speaking about financial things. Could be healing. Could be healing. I said, oh, prophet, as we don't know. I've been sick for too long. Hey, this is a new month. New things are bound to happen. This is a new day. New, new time. The clock keeps on moving. Even though it's rounding up like this, but it keeps on moving. And it is moving with us. Amen. Daily we are growing. If you look at me, I'm not the same girl that you saw four years ago. There are some changes. I'm under 50 right now. Amen. But I'm not here to talk about age. I'm here to talk about this month of July. I want us to go and pray together. Like prophetess, please pray for me. <laughs> whatever it is, could be depression. It could be whatever. It could be the husband that has left you. It could be the disease. That doctors, they just don't know what to do. I've been in a month where I had to call God and say, God, the doctor says there's nothing you can do for me. I remember the Holy Spirit saying to me, the doctor might, 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 might not know what to do with you. But I know exactly what to do with your condition. And I was healed instantly. Why? Because of my faith. So what do I have to say? We are not in the same season. You know, there was a time in my life when kids would come back with a letter from school. You know, when they want to uh, uh, send them out of the school. We have not been paying for months now. <clears throat> Coming back with that letter. I've been in that season. I don't know what is it that your Paul says in all the season. <laughs> I know what it's like to lack. I know what it's like to have more. I don't know what type of season you find yourself to be in. But one thing you can testify is to say that ask God for what you need. This month, I don't know what is it that you are expecting from God. There was a man that was praying for a husband. There was a man when I was praying for, for provision. There was a man when I was just praying for my own thing and glorifying God. But right now, I want us to go and pray together. Wherever you're watching me from, write it down. Comment down below. Even when we find time again, if I found your comment i'm still gonna come back we pray together wherever you're watching me i just want to thank also sister rashidi you know thank you so much for watching me from the other country we thank you so much just like please do a video where we can all pray i was like ah i don't trust you guys can i really do live <laughs> I'll find one person watching. It's like, it's okay. You're teaching us on how to pray. But right now, I'm not teaching you on how to pray. I want us to pray together for this month of July. Father, we want to thank you so much, God, for this month. We thank you that we made it from January to June. Father, this is July. We are still here. It is by your grace, nothing more but your grace, my Father. There are people that are watching me that I have never met, my God, but they have got needs, Lord. They want you to intervene. Father, I want you to perform a miracle in their lives. I want you to transform them for the better. I want this to be a joyful month. 
I want this to be a month where they are going to testify. I want this to be a month where they are going to remember the goodness of the Lord. David says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, not only one day, but for the rest of my life. I want to pray that, Lord, bless them wherever they are, financially, God. Those that are struggling, those that are in need, I pray for them. I pray that may the Holy Spirit rest upon them like he did during the time of the baptism of Jesus. You said it to Jesus that my peace I give you. I pray for peace upon their lives. I pray for joy upon their marriages. I pray for their children, my father. I pray for whatever need, father, even the things that I did not mention. I pray and say that, Lord, touch them wherever they're watching us from. God, touch them. Heal them, oh, father. Let there be a breakthrough like never before. I rebuke the enemy upon their lives. I rebuke what Whatever that is deluded is delaying their progress, Lord. I rebuke the devil and his demons, Father, upon their lives. I said that God let there be breakthrough upon their lives, oh God. Let it flow unto them, my Father. Re let your rain rain upon them, O God. I pray and say that, Lord, let your spirit rest upon them. Let this be a different month. Let this be a different month. Visit them, God, in their sleep. Let them experience the supernatural. Let them come and testify, O God. Let them be changed in their lives, O God. Give them hope, my Father. Revive them, Father, in the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Amen.